What's up? Check it out. 396 minutes remaining. That's on the last vlog, not this one. I just figured out a new way to, I don't know, I was rendering at an incredibly high bit rate, which was making my fucking files extremely large, which sounds extremely nerdy. <laughs> I was rendering at an incredibly high bit rate, which was making my fucking files extremely large. Today is uh, September 12th, 123 p.m. And you know how that goes. I fucking love this poster. You know what's funny is I, I don't know where they got this poster. at some store here. Um, it says Tetin right there. See? T-E-T-T-E-N. I always wondered what that was. And then one of my friends looked it up online. And she said that it, it means, um, like, breasts. It means, like, yeah, it means breasts. <laughs> and I just love that it just says Tetin with an exclamation mark right there. That's freaking awesome. And I'm also watching this season finale of True Blood. Let me just say, last night, I watched Entourage season finale. Or series finale. And it was fucking brilliant. Like, I mean, honestly, it might not have been. It wasn't really a series finale because they're going to make the movie. So it wasn't like they completely ended everything. It was like a really extremely great, like, sort of cliffhanger. But also left you, like, really satisfied. I don't know. It was just crazy to see all my, all these characters. And you could tell, like, when they would cry or, like, they were actually, like, emotional. That they were actually emotional. Like, I could imagine, like, being an Imagine being an actor and doing the same show for, like, years putting like all your heart and soul into it, like making all your money from that, all your, like, you know, your friends, probably the people you, you coexist with. And then having to act out as that character, the last scenes that you're going to be in. Like, I can imagine how fucking hard that truly is. Like, so yeah, and now I'm watching True Blood. Thank God it's not the series finale. <laughs> Um, True Blood's dope, honestly. It's getting kind of, like, extremely supernatural, which is, I really don't usually like shows like that, but I've already gotten so deep into these characters and plots and shit that I'm like, don't even matter. Like, I could just show them just standing there and fucking each other, and I'd watch. Actually, I bet a lot more people might watch than that already watches, but, yeah, that was probably a bad example. <laughs> Peace out, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog. See that black guy? If you guys don't watch True Blood, his name is Lafayette. He plays a, um, or he plays a guy named Lafayette. I'm not sure of his real name, but his name in the show is Lafayette. He plays a black, or he is a black gay man. Um, and later on in the season, uh, you find out he's a medium, which means he uh, he's sort of like a, I guess like a witch. He has like power, to, like just like like witchy type powers. And this is his boyfriend right here. And um, pretty much his boyfriend is trying is uh, Lafayette is possessed by this is possessed by this person who's dead because he's a medium so he can do that anyways uh it's him battling like himself his character battling this other character and then it's it's just watch how how he's he's this fool is like an incredible actor like he really is in the beginning i just thought he was a dope ass character he's still my favorite one of my favorite characters from this show but um just check out how he like he snaps out he snaps back into his original character which which is kind of like a like a ghetto black guy he's kind of like a uh oh, like you know I don't know how to explain not a ghetto not ghetto black guy but like a get like a like a gay black dude with swag yet who's also gangster and funny and shit like that um but he's but the person who's who's possessing him is like a white witch who's really powerful and watch the white witch or whatever the witch um who who is possessing him he like fights her out for a quick second and then comes back it just just check out it's really extremely small thing but to me it was just really substantial because it was just such an incredible thing and i haven't even watched the rest of this episode but yeah check it out power you don't deserve to speak your name traitor Jatomo was a hero Mara. unlike this lafayette coward whom i've had to take by far Hey, so this bitch is strong and seriously homicidal. Call me bitch again, boy, and I'll cut out your eyeball and feed it to you. I can't feel pain. But <laughs> Marty, please don't hurt him. I really like, like, taking, like, just regular hats or regular shirts or something like that and making them out to be something fucking dope that they really aren't. Like, this is just a regular, I guess, Philadelphia hat or Pittsburgh or some shit like that with a piece. And um, my sister had it. I don't know where she got it. Probably from some boy she made out with <laughs> but um I like I'm sure you guys have seen my stoner shirt the shirt that says stoner on the front that's actually just a regular gray shirt and I made that shirt um I, I, I like cut out a stencil and spray painted it and then I made my own like custom EDC 2011 hat um what else have I made I made a few different things but um right now I'm gonna try to put psychedelic across the side I don't know how good that would it's gonna work out because it 
this little thing might make it look weird and then if I bring the P and I make it go up it might just look kind of odd I can make it look real small which it might be tight I don't know I'm gonna do it my best possible way use a color pencil to outline it and then just color it in with marker I guess we'll see how this goes so I decided not to go this way with it I decided to go around, just like spell it out backwards I guess and this is just the outline so I'm pretty sure I spelled it right Almost done. Just kidding, I knew how that, that's how you spelled it. I don't know why I said I think this is how you spell it, because I knew. And I'm not saying I knew like I'm incredibly smart or a genius, but I knew not only because I always write out psychedelic, but because I searched it on Google. <laughs> so yeah, you know how that goes. Just didn't want to lie. All right, so it came out, uh, I'd say good. Uh, it came out, a way it came out better than than I would I wouldn't normally wear this hat, but now I, I will. Maybe I'll add more to it or something, but it's kinda cool, it's kinda weird. Like psyllidic kiss. But technically it says psychedelic just backwards. Yeah, it's kinda dope. I'll wear it. I'm about to wear it in the next video I make right now. The new can of sessions. Yeah. Actually I like it a lot. It's pretty dope. <laughs> I'm watching Shameless and I paused it to go inside and make something. And I just had to show it off. Check it out. Boom. Look. Okay, this is my hand. Look how big that motherfucking thing is. This is like a fucking Plata's burrito. Who knows what Plata's is? If you know what Plata's is, you're a gangster. And let me tell you something else. My family owns Plata's. Like, that's my family's restaurant. I grew up eating Plata's in Barstone. Like, it's my, actually my grandpa's restaurant he started it but yep you know how that goes <clears throat> shameless come here baby Aww. are you a princess right now love mm -hmm. what princess are you princess. are you just a princess mm -hmm. are you princess Victoria mm -hmm. yeah Say bye. Bye. <laughs> uh oh, my baby. <laughs> you throw your babies around like that? Crazy. What are you doing, love? It's Thursday night, 11.30 p.m. I'm officially ending the show. Damn, I've been on for, what, like three and a half hours? Like, not really, maybe like three hours, but hey, you guys are awesome for coming by. Let me just shout out everybody in here. I'm pretty sure I have to get this. You guys are awesome. Say what's up. Good night. I love you guys. You guys are great. Um, hope you guys come by on um, thir Thursday nights. Yeah, Thursday nights. Every other Thursday nights. Um, I'll holler at you guys on the fucking 30... 29th? Is it, will it be the 29th? I'm pretty sure it's 29th. Yeah. You guys are awesome. I produced this song. See, dog, even beats like this would be tight. So even a beat, a beat like this. Well, we record you. <coughs> um, I don't know. Maybe. What do you think? Oh, fuck the hash in here. I forgot. Cause you won't, you won't be able to see. <coughs> you got. If you feel the urge to. I've been loved by Mary Jane for so long right now I love the way she takes the pain and bring my soul right out Dry in the rain, higher than plain, I love what she does She me best but when the flame lights up Conjure therapy apparently is not the mess Time to bury the heresy and take bad man to class In fact, don't ask, don't tell MCCM psychedelic spell La, under my control Ha Got you stuck in the hole, yeah. What the fuck, you cannot go. You suck. So.
Yeah. Wanna hear it? Yeah. A cherry Dr. Pepper, some snacks indeed. Oh yeah, and a big gas bag of weed is all I need. To blast off, I pass, cough, I put the mask on. Let the poisonous gases pass on into my view. I wanna see the green and all of you. Green, 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 it's a green nation, a very green nation filled with pride, 250 patients. Keeps my mind calm and my thoughts relax. Keeps my thoughts calm and my mind relaxed. It keeps me chilled, cool, smoking a doobie. Chilled, cool, collected, and groovy. <laughs> oh, oh, I like that I use groovy, dog. I really like it. <laughs> Horse? You want to be a horse? Oh, that horse. That's weird. These are gay. These are not what you should be looking at at all. Look at these ones right here, baby. Daddy? Hmm. Do you want me to hold your cup? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got it. Princess? Princess? These are all princesses right here. Huh? These are all princesses right here. Uh -oh. Are you guys finding everything okay? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah. If you need help with anything, let me know. Oh, right. no! Daddy, he's a man! That's the mean one, huh? I love California, man. <clears throat> Look at that. It's so beautiful. I'm swerving and shit, but I mean, I shouldn't even be doing that. There's a cop behind me. Yeah, you know how that goes. I mean, sometimes you just need to buy some dank, you know? Some super dank. There's a cop behind me, by the way. So I went nuts inside a Dollar Tree. And spent like 23 bucks. See, 23 bucks ain't a lot of money, but when you go to the Dollar Tree and you spend 23 bucks, that means you went nuts. <laughs> uh, I got a lot of things I needed though. 23 bucks, can't go wrong, you know? And I got a $50 eighth, which is probably a mistake. Okay, I got a $50 eighth. <laughs> Just sounds pretty. Alrighty. <laughs> One of the rascal flats was getting rowdy. <laughs> It was a good week, I believe. I mean, I always say it was a good week, and I really don't have any bad weeks. Um, just got back from watching Lion King 3D with Victoria and her mom, and it was fucking so dope, man. Like, to me, it was, like, amazing, just because of the fact, like, when I was younger, that's what I watched. I know, like, there was a whole generation that was just completely in love with Lion King. Movies like that will carry on generation after generation. So like, I don't know, that's just dope to me. It was obviously a dope movie. It was cool in 3D. Um, what else? Rascal Flats yesterday was dope. It was fun. Um, so many beautiful girls. So fucking many. When we had our, um, our briefing before we started work, they told us that they expected over 70% uh, females for the event. And there was, it was like stagecoach all over again. Country music's a lot about like being completely content and feeling great and happy about, in a way, like doing nothing with your life. Like just sitting on your front porch drinking a beer and that's all that life really is. And I'm not, I'm not hating or anything like that, but it's, I, can, I can see what's up with that. I can dig it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, September 18th, 10, 20 p.m. Hopefully you have this up by Monday morning. Um, yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs. I'm enjoying making them. Uh, yeah. Peace. Hop in love by Mary Jane for so long right now. I love the way she takes the pain and bring my soul right out.